Welcome to the New Song Cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today we're here with Joel Houston and Matt Crocker from Hillsong United, and they're sharing their new song, Scandal of Grace. We hope you enjoy this New Song Cafe. Joel and Matt, good to see you guys. Good to see you. Yes. It's great to connect with you here uh, as you're on the way from one place to another, as you guys often are, but uh, catch up here in Nashville at the legendary Ocean Way Studios here in Nashville, which is a really cool place for us to meet up. And talking about these new songs from uh, the new United record that's coming, and um, this first song called Scandal of Grace, which this, I love the title, man. It's really, really awesome. But talk about the song and just, um, I know you guys wrote this together, and just the, you know, what spiritually was going on and, and what led you guys to write the song? Yeah, well, we, um, Maddie kind of came up with the, the whole verse and everything, and we were sitting on it for a long time and trying to work out how it could fit. And, um, and um, I happened to be, I was, it sounds like a joke when I tell the story, but I was in a conversation and there was like a, a believer, which would have been me, uh, a non-believer and a jaded believer. And, um, and we were, you could say we were sitting in a bar and we were talking about God and we we're just talking about, you know, it was a real philosophical conversation. And at one point in the conversation, uh, the jaded believer says to the non-believer, um, just in trying to explain Jesus, well, because the thing is, mate, like it doesn't really make sense. And that's the scandal of grace. And it just stuck with me. And I was like, oh, man, that's, that's what that song needs to be uh, about. And, and I think, you know, we sing, um, we sing so many songs about, you know, these, um, you know, the, the incredible gifts that we get, we have from God, you know, His love, His mercy, His grace. Um, I mean, Amazing Grace it undoubtedly is the most incredible song of all time. But sometimes I think it, it helps to, to shine a different light um, on something to help kind of bring it to life again. And I, I feel like for us, you know, there's a scripture in, in, uh, in Romans uh, 8, I think it says, you know, um, I will lay a stumbling block in Zion, a rock of offense, but whoever places their trust in him uh, shall never perish. And I think it's no surprise knowing the nature of God that often, you know, his, the most amazing gift that he gives us is also the hardest for people to get their head around because uh, we are so good at trying to do everything in our own strength. Even as believers, as Christians, we can, like, I feel like there's this daily battle where we try and take control back to, from God and trying to do everything in our own strength. We wonder why we keep falling flat in our face. And I feel like this song is just a reminder that um, it's all because of Jesus. It's all because of His grace that we can do anything, that we have any right to stand in His presence whatsoever. And, and I feel like, you know, um, putting a twist on it and, and, and this idea of the scandal of grace, this idea that, you know, um, that ultimately, you know, the whole message of Jesus was scandalous to the point where he ended up on the cross for us. And even today, you know, to say that we can stand here not because of um, the good things that we've done, but because we accept the one good thing, that, you know, the good thing he did for us, I think is just, um, it's the power behind what we believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think it's, you know, it's a powerful thing to be singing. Absolutely. And that's sort of the bridge, Matt. It's like, it's all because of you, Jesus. Yeah. It's all because of you. I think like the idea that we don't have to strive to like to meet God and and um and step into this life and strive to be good or, or righteous or anything. We can relax and and um sing the, like this song as well, like relaxing in the thought that it's because of what God did and um it's nothing to do with with us. It's because of what He did on the cross. It allows us to step into grace and live a life that is what God wants. Just all of us. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, guys, play the song. We'd love to hear it. Cool. Yeah. Grace, what have you done? Murder me on that cross, accused in absence of wrong. My sin washed away in. Too much to make sense of it all I know that your love breaks my fall The scandal of grace You died in my place So my soul will live Oh, to be like you Give all I have just to know Jesus, there's no one beside you. For 
Notice you guys are doing this in A. We were talking about this beforehand, and the record is actually C, so quite a bit higher. Yeah. Which uh, worship leaders everywhere are thanking you for lowering it down for me. <laughs> <laughs> but kind of, yeah. Joel, walk through the chords a little bit, and you guys are capo yeah. too. Yeah. Um, well, that's the easiest way to transpose yeah. it for me anyway. But yeah, um, so I'm playing it obviously with the capo on the second fret in the G shape. So the verse is really simple. It's just uh, it's the one, the G. It's an E minor to C, so it's just really simple kind of shape. Six eight, obviously. And it's E minor, C, G, and then here it's like a uh, what do you got there? It's like a B minor. Yeah, it's yeah. like a yeah, like a one over three. Yeah, but to the G. goes to the 5, D, to the 6, and it kind of ramps on the 4, the chorus is really simple, it's just the 1, to the 5, to the 4, and it lands back on the 1 again. It's cool because you can kind of go anywhere from there. And then um, the bridge is real simple. It's uh, the one to the five. Really simple four chords. Yeah, pretty much. Different progressions. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for sharing the song with us, and uh, really excited about the new album coming. Thanks, man.